I have Pop Bob Terry here in the studio with me. Welcome. Hey, thank you very much for having me. I don't think I've ever had John before, have we? No, we haven't. We haven't but, had uh, John before. We'll talk later about other things. <laughs> You're here now to talk about a couple of weeks ago. It was the Addie's Gala for the Tampa Bay Advertising Federation. Right. And we are, uh, tell me, you've been on the board for a long, long time. You spearheaded and started the gallery night. So you actually have a huge impact on the advertising community here locally. Nobody, people might not know that, That's but you do. Right. Yeah. Tell me about this year's gala. What, how, what has the feedback been from you, for you? The feedback has been really great. Um, my experience there was really great. And, uh, everything I've heard about it since, uh, everyone was uh, very excited about the event. And they liked the fact that it was uh, a totally different event for, uh, for this particular occasion. I think most people go into award evenings of uh, black tie and sit down and stare at a screen for uh, for a number of hours and this was not that at all and that was the beauty of it I think uh, and that's why people got excited about it how, uh, how, how does the Tampa Bay how does Tampa Bay Advertising Federation how see the outcome of the Addies I mean what what purpose of that is that for the Addies or for the Advertising Federation well I think uh, with any uh, award show everybody w is going into it maybe as a ho-hum, it's just another one of these things. And I think ultimately it was a celebration of uh, creative, uh, well, the cre creative endeavors of everyone. And they were put into an environment that celebrated that. And I think it's about time that it's not just another ceremony. It was something different to celebrate what we what we want out of ourselves to do something different, and it celebrated that. You know, one thing that was different for our gala this year was we themed it. And, and we kept that theme going throughout the the entire the entire from from gallery night to the to the th and thanks to Robert's communications mm -hmm. to the to the print media or to the print that went out to everything the banners that were printed everything was themed out. Uh, we want to kind of roll to um, the movie that played um, at at Raymond James Stadium mm -hmm. on the Jumbo Vision. Do you want to do you mind checking it out for just a minute? Oh, I think it's great. Once upon a time. In a land not far from here, a young man who believed in the unbelievable set out on a quest for gold. He had heard tales of a treasure lost many years past by a pirate named Santiago. Legend told that this object was magical and could bring to life whatever the possessor's imagination could dream. This young man's ingenuity was matched only by the depth of his desire to hold the power of this treasure, the idol of Santiago. Unfortunately, he was not alone in his desire.
What'd you think? I think it's terrific. It, it really was terrific. great. The first, second, third. I can see it mm-hmm. over and over again. Exactly. And what people might not understand is, as being on the ad fed board or, or producing a, a movie like that, it's completely a voluntary. Uh, People do this because they want to do this, and a lot of people actually helped us. Mike McCord, our, our, that you met earlier, who's mm-hmm. a Tampa Digital employee, wrote, produced, directed that. Every single person there was a uh, volunteer. All of the actors that you saw volunteered. The music came from Tim Flower, Fowler from Sound Design, or Sound of Flam, and that music was just awesome. Mm-hmm. It was great. Uh, this year, we themed it out. Everything was wonderful. Everything was beautiful. It was from the beginning to the end, to the movie, to, to everything, mm-hmm. to the venue. W- what advice can you give the next person? To, to well or what can we expect for, for the next Addie Gala? Uh, looking back over the years, uh, every Addie chair or any buddy uh, who's in charge of the gala is always looking to make the event the event. And continuity of theme, strength of theme, and, and and understanding what the uh, the market wants, and you this year uh, it was delivered in in many fold over, and the excitement of that should roll over to next year. Whoever does it next year really has a challenge, <laughs> a real challenge. It was really terrific, and, and the impact that something like this, the gala that was completely themed out, the effect that it has on the community, the advertising community. Well, I, I think it tells everyone that uh, we do it right here. And um, this just reinforces what we do well. And we come together as a community, we support that effort, and we promote that effort. And I think that's everything. Uh, we uh, have uh. to celebrate our, our creatives that are here. And everybody needs to stay tuned because we are going to be talking to some of the creatives who won golds and silvers and best ofs um, in the in the uh, Addie Gala. So, mm-hmm. Bob, thank you very much for Thanks driving for all the way over from St. Petersburg in rush hour traffic uh, to come tonight. Sly Avenue. Sly Avenue. <laughs> <laughs> It was better when I said it. Well, I'm a a Tampa Bay person, (laughs) so.